Hey guys, Ink Mommy here, and today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step live in real time of how to install the Void Launcher in Crazy Craft 3. I am using my new computer, so I have never installed Void Launcher or Crazy Craft on this computer. What you want to do is you're going to want to go to test.voidwrath.com mod packs. You're going to first, before you go here, download whichever it says to do here first. Let's do this. Now hopefully this is like my other video. Download the DMG version which is here. Always make sure you click this first. It's this one. Okay. Well why it's doing that, let's go ahead and go back. There was another Java so let's go ahead and download this one it's, and it's the DMG version right here. Now while that's installing, let's go ahead and download the Void Launcher. Go ahead and install this first one. Okay, and don't warn me again. Open, welcome, next, keep. Again, don't open up the Void Launcher file until you already have Java's installed. So the other Java is now done downloading. Oh, there we go. So both Javas are downloaded. Let's go ahead and read the description before we do anything else because the biggest issues that happen, missing one little step. Java, okay, we got that. Uh, I don't have an antivirus, again, because I'm on a Mac, I don't need it. Your normal vanilla Minecraft needs to be at least 60 FPS to make sure that it works on mod packs. Now that's a big thing too. Just normal vanilla Minecraft, nothing going on on my computer, sometimes can reach up to 200 FPS. Now, that dramatically goes down as I start to play or if you even just have a texture pack on. But generally, it's around 60 to 100 FPS. I know that mine is good, so you wanna make sure you test that. FPS is at 46. That's pretty low, guys. That may cause us some problems. I haven't restarted my computer in a while, and so I know that causes a lot of problems. But until you actually shut down and restart your computer, sometimes let it sit for several minutes. So anyways, I got the FPS where it needs to be at the minimum. Now, I've already downloaded the cross-platform and let's just open it from here. That's a good sign. That's weird how I just downloaded it straight from the site and now it's saying there's an update. Well, let's go ahead and update it. Okay, sure, it says to update. So I did, it takes me back to the same window. Let me go to install again, see if maybe it's a different downloader and it's not. Let's do a, a quick search, okay? I'm doing the work for you guys. So if this gets a little lengthy, well, just be happy. <laughs> Take care of it for you, okay? So now we're just gonna say no. Here's the launcher. Now it already has my email address defaulted here. Not sure why, because I haven't linked Minecraft or logged into this yet at all from this computer. Yeah, so uh, something that I've learned before, if you wanna just go straight in here, you're probably gonna get a login error. What I am now going to do to try and avoid that is to go to minecraft.net and log in. Let's log in to make sure that it is going to access. Okay, I am logged in here, now let's go to the launcher and see what we got going. There's no submit, there's no nothing like that, so just hit enter. Let's try the next step, okay? It's the mod pack, and all the way down at the bottom, crazy craft, here we go. And what you wanna do is play. Now when you first hit play, it should download everything that you need. So far, hopefully it doesn't get stuck on the 0% screen. Okay guys, this is a really good thing. Usually it takes forever for that first launcher page that came up at the 0% to go through a whole bunch of stuff to download all of this. So that went straight from zero straight to Forge, which already has Forge installed. You don't have to download and install it. As long as the little hammer anvil is going, you're good to go. If it for some reason isn't moving, it's glitched and froze. Um, okay. We are at the main screen. Don't do the official public server at this point. I've never tried that, but I know that causes glitches. We're gonna just do single player just to make sure it's working. Okay, sometimes you'll get a really bad glitch here and it just isn't gonna work. So let's hope it's gonna work. And just understand, there's 64 mods, you guys. Oh my gosh, that was okay. Faster than expected. It's uh, going really glitchy. Re okay, there we go. There's a lot of lag here. Maybe I should just chill out and let the chunks load. I'm sure the FPS is pretty low. Let's see. It's at 23 FPS because, of course, I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna want to use texture packs. Let's see if there's anything that we can. Oh, there is new mods in here that I'm not familiar with. There are some mods in this that you could disable to try and make it go faster, but certain ones, if you do, it's gonna just mess up the whole world. Seconds frozen and my my fan is going very fast. And another reason why the FPS is going slow is because quick time when it's recording takes a lot. Okay, it's it's glitched out, so it's not gonna let me force quick. 
Okay guys, so what I did was I had to force quit the launcher. I noticed after doing that, that Chrome in the background had a frozen tab and it was causing some glitching as well. So I had to force quit Chrome. And then I did not take my own advice after downloading and installing everything to restart my computer and let it sit for a minute. So what I also did in the meantime was I moved some videos off into my external hard drive. I wanna say that is one of the things that you would really wanna do. Um, if you have a lot of stuff on your computer, get an external hard drive. The so one I wanted to show you, I launched it and this time this pops up again but it also launched this so I'm gonna try and do update now and see if it fixes it here and it shut it down but kept this up okay well it seems as though after all of that that still doesn't work so let's try again let's go ahead and relaunch and okay there it pops up every time you do have to go and do it like this to log in I think seems to be looking good though so it's good to go Let's go back to this world. I'm trying to record a computer screen from a camera isn't the best, but it gives you an idea. So I know most of you want to, you know, record while you're playing. So I'll show another video how it reacts to when I'm actually recording on my computer as well. Seems like it's not loading really any faster. Chickens aren't moving. Sun's barely moving. Okay, the chicken moving. Let's see how I move. That was fast, but then it glitched. Let's see what the FPS is. It's that, oh, it's even worse. Interesting. And it says it's using 91%. That's why it's only using 930 megabytes of RAM. And you know what, guys? I missed a step of my own. Let's go back. There's something that you have to do in the launcher that I forgot about. So I'm gonna switch to the computer recording to give you guys a better view of this. Okay guys, I hate to admit this, but I literally had to go back and look at my old video to find out those options <laughs> and what I needed to change it to. What you wanna do, click the cogwheel, options, and this is going to default with let Java decide. Now if you type in anything other than 1024-2048, it automatically readjusts and makes it wonky. So uh, just go back to factory defaults if it keeps doing that. Unclick let Java decide, one, zero, two, four, two, zero, four, eight. And then let's just go ahead and, oh, okay guys, I guess clicking the X doesn't get out of that, it gets out of the launcher altogether. QuickTime Player is taking up quite a bit of my hard drive to record. So let's go back to the launcher. Okay, that's still defaulted. Now, before you just go ahead and log in, let's go ahead first and log into Minecraft. You don't put in your username even though it says to do that. You type in the email and then let's go back to the mod pack. Let's go here. Hopefully if there's if there's any glitches, we are going to have to hit the reinstall. See, before it did the zero, that could be because we changed the settings. That's the case. Totally fine. I think it does have to make the adjustments. This is what I'm used to. This makes me happier. Oh, also, uh, Stampy, Squid, and Ashdub did a Crazy Craft series. That one is really fun to watch. Uh, so you might want to check that one out as, as well. Okay. Uh, let's hit okay. And it shut down. Okay. Let's bring this back up. Let's go back here. Let's see if this is correct. Let's go back, Crazy Craft 3, and let's hit play. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, okay. It went to, what, what, why? Okay, let's do that. Let's download it. Uh, oh, okay. That's no good. Interesting. You know, let's try a completely different pack. Let's try Pokecraft, okay? Is that zero? Ugh, I know Chicken Code Lib is required. What is going on? Hmm. Okay, it shut down. All right, guys, I'm gonna try and restart my computer again after all those downloads and see what happens. Okay, lovey doveys at this point, let's go ahead and click the screen where the video shows to go to sessions three and four, which is the part two video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. See you in the next video.